Let's look at the performance of the project. Turn on FPS display. On the street about 74 FPS. Indoors FPS drops below 30 in some parts of the scene. I would like this project on my system in epic quality mode to give a stable 60 FPS indoors. To achieve this, I need to optimize the scene with levels. Drops of FPS is especially noticeable when I get close to windows. It's affected by a lot of foliage outside. I will break the project into levels and make a face loading. When the user is inside, the trees, light and heavy geometry outside will be unloaded. Then when the user enters outside, the geometry and light from the interior will be unloaded, but levels of the exterior will be loaded into the scene again. First, I need to distribute all the objects in the scene into levels. Go to the window menu and choose levels. Now in the scene one level, persistent level, all objects are placed on it. Click on levels, create new. Choose empty level. Now create a new folder to store the levels. Give a name for the level. On this level I will put all basic geometry that will not hide and unhide. Find the geometry of the house. Select all objects. Right click on the level. Move selected actors to level. Click yes in the message. Turn off level visibility. So, you can see which objects are already distributed. Transfer the remaining geometry of the house to the level. Transferring to a level is only possible when level visibility is enabled. Create a new level for interior furniture. Move interior furniture to the level. Deselect the outdoor furniture. I will create a separate layer for it. Also, don't forget to move all interior decor. I will also move the fire in the fireplace to the interior furniture level. Now create a level for the plants. Select all plants and move it to the level.
Next are the levels for indoor and outdoor lighting. Next create level for interior lighting. Move all interior lights to the level. Create level for the exterior light. Create another level for decorative fill lights. As you remember, it should only be visible from the outside. Now I need to create a mesh shape that will perform the collision function. Collision will fill the interior and perform the function of a trigger that determines whether the user is inside or outside. Go back to 3ds Max and create a geometry shape according to the shape of the interior spaces. Export the created mesh to FBX format. Export selected. Import FBX to Unreal Engine. Create a new actor. Go to Actor Editing. Add Aesthetic Mesh Component. Add the imported static mesh in the details panel. Now I need to adjust the collision preset. Change it to overlap all. 
Compile and Save. Go to the interior asset and add a collision for it. Collision complexity – use simple collision as complex. Play the actor in the scene. Reset the coordinates so that the object falls into place. Recite the mesh inside actor in height so that the user's character has constant contact with the surface of the mesh. Go to actor settings and turn off geometry visibility. Let's move on to creating the blueprint script. Remove default events. Select the static mesh component. Add on component begin overlap and on component end overlap events. I need to create a blueprint script. When a character crosses an actor's geometry, interior levels are loaded and exterior levels are unloaded. When the user stops crossing the geometry collision, the action is reversed. I'll start with an component begin overlap. Find the function load stream level by object reference. Level select interior furniture. Activate make visible after load. Load the next level with interior light. You can copy this function. Select the interior light level. After the levels are loaded, I need to upload the levels with the exterior objects. Find the function on load stream level by object reference. Select exterior light level. Next, upload fake light and foliage. Let's move on to the uncomponent and overlap event. I will load the exterior levels first and then unload the interior levels. I got this script. Let's test how it works. This scene did not load the levels at the start. I need to configure which levels will be loaded when the game starts. Open Level Blueprint Editor. A level blueprint is a specialized type of blueprint that acts a level-wide global event graph. Delete default nodes. Create event begin play. This is an automatic event that runs every time the game starts. Let's create a script which levels should be loaded at start. Use the same function load stream level by object reference. 
At start should be loaded the main geometry, exterior light, fake light and foliage levels. Add levels to the chain. Compile and run the game. Now the levels appeared at the start. Through the window you can see that while the character is outside, inside there is no part of the furniture, decor and lighting. I left some of the furniture at the main geometry level, so that when the user is outside there is no void in the windows. Let's check how it works. Now the levels are loaded in stages. 